Hi everybody, Alex Aploya from Expert Forex. I'm sharing my screen quite early in uh, the webinar tonight. And uh, we're going to be looking at some of the charts in a little bit more detail than we normally do uh, this evening. Uh, in fact, we get, I'm going to do a, what I call a multi uh, uh, time frame and also multi technique analysis on a couple of uh, currencies tonight. And what I'd like you guys to do is if you have a favorite currency that you would like analyzed, I'm going to use the uh, the six or seven charts that we have uh, that I've currently got on the screen uh, to do that detailed analysis. I'm going to work from scratch and hopefully we can do, uh, uh, hopefully you'll find that educational. Also, uh, what I've done is I have identified some very unusual uh, formations in the market uh, this today. And um, I'd like to share those with you. Not, a, not very well known formations, a bit of old day uh, formations, but we'll have a look at them. <laughs> okay, all right. So, so a question uh, Is there a way of stopping FX Blue from displaying information prior to a certain date? Um, all right, Liz, look, I'll, I'll try and explain that. I'll try and um, uh, show you that. Uh, I'll, and for that, I'll have to use some uh, I'll, I'll use some uh, of our monitoring accounts let me see if i can get hold of one okay so thanks for that question uh, liz I'm, I'll, I'll see if I, hopefully i can answer it and um, the year's a portfolio of of uh, our new mam monitoring accounts uh, they're doing reasonably well um if you look at it uh, it's uh it's only about five percent up at the moment. It's, it hasn't been going for too too long, and uh, let's just take the, the the best one there and uh, see if I can answer your question. Um, I hope it displays properly. Oh, that's it. That's the kind of display you want. Okay, so th this one's doing reasonably well. It's only been going from uh, the latest upgrade, which is the 31st of, of May. So it's only been going for about 10 days or so, but it's doing reasonably well. All right, so now uh, the question is, is there a way of stopping FX Blue from displaying information prior to a certain date? Now, I, I don't think I've done this before, but there is a filter there, and you can actually st stipulate the date range. So let's have a look. Uh, um, doesn't look like you can. Uh, it doesn't look like you can do that today in the last three days. So you can. Um, a previous week, you can do previous, a uh, current month, previous month, uh, current quarter, previous quarter, current year, previous year. So, so, so there are a few selections, but it does not look like uh, you can. Um, uh, it doesn't look like you can uh, specify a date that you want to display. Let's have a. Oh, hang on. Here we go. Uh, uh, open so so if you want to try if you want transactions from uh, let's say the first of May to the thirtieth of, uh, of 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 May uh, 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 so there's a there's a range that you can uh, then filter your transactions by if I click on this it must probably won't show anything. <laughs> Uh, did it? Yeah, it, it's literally. I didn't show anything on the. Oh, there we are. Yes, it doesn't show anything. Uh, in other words, I haven't really tried it. It still shows the overall results, but uh, if you use filtered, it will show the statistics will only revert to the current ones. Oh, you want people to stop? Uh, oh, um. Okay. Well, then you then you say, uh, oh, you don't want people to see. Uh, so, so what you would do 
is uh, you oh you don't want to see you you don't want to oh no I don't think that's possible. Um, look, I, I, quite honestly, it's so much easier to just open a, a clean demo account and not use old demo accounts for these kind of things. Uh, I, I'm aware of that, but I want to stop people from looking at the prior information. Um, no. uh, there is another way that I, I can't really show you uh, much about, but um, let's just go there. There is a um you, you you can link your account in two ways you can sync the account or you can publish the account now under the publisher i think in that publisher yeah and I, again i'm i'm speculating here um there is the facility to limit what you publish to fx blue so in other words there could be a filter in the publisher EA have you looked at that um, uh, um, and instead of using the sync method of, of you could use the publisher and you could say to the publisher only publish from this date now I, I, I'm not 100% sure if that's possible um, I, I would have to have a look at some of our publisher unfortunately I don't have access to our uh, some of our accounts to show you but uh, certainly um, uh, uh, that is something that you need to look at. Look at the publisher. You so it's, you load it onto your your platform, uh, and you can then give instructions to the publisher what you want to publish. And I, I've got a feeling that will help you with your problem. So so the publisher might, but certainly the sync method doesn't seem to uh do uh, do what you want it to do certainly doesn't job yeah. okay well, all right so thanks for that question um and uh, have a have a look at the publisher uh, th that might solve your problem that you've got yeah okay all right so we're going to do some analysis of a couple of uh, 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 for it crosses and as I asked for is a few to be nominated but it doesn't seem like anybody's too keen so I'll start nominating myself and um, we'll do we'll start with a big old euro first and um, on the screen you can see weekly daily uh, four hour and one one hour and this should be the one hour why is it not the one hour okay it's not the one hour so we'll just change it to the one hour and um, and then we have the multiple moving average. Then we have the uh, good, uh, the vib uh, good vibrations indicator here, which basically just is how the market's vibrating. And then we have a channel trading uh, uh, EA, uh, 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 indicator. Basically, that self draws the channel. And uh, it's, sometimes it's wrong, but sometimes it's right. And and that happening now. So. What I would normally do is I would look at, 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 at all of this information and start extracting uh, trading information that might be useful. Now, the, now one of the formations or uh, signals that does not occur very often, and that is a positive divergence. Now, has anybody heard of a, por a positive divergence before? When we talk about divergences, uh, they are normally where the uh, the uh, indicator, the RSI, uh, shows a different signal to what is shown on the price price. But normally, the RSI shows a decrease in momentum. In other words, uh, if the and let's see if we can find a a, uh, a normal uh, divergence a normal divergence looks something like this uh let's see <laughs> i need to find one uh let's just see why it's all right so so uh, <laughs> let's see if it's a normal well that that's that's potentially a normal a divergence so we're saying the, the, the indicator is going down and let's just see where and this one 
is going up. All right, so so there's there's a what we call a normal divergence. It it means that uh, this movement is running out of momentum and is likely to topple over. But a positive divergence is a is the opposite way around. The, then this is showing that way, and this is showing that way. Anybody come across that, or has ever used it, or, or, or knows anything about it? We've got quite a few people in the room here. Let's see if anybody's uh, so. Uh, so let me show you that. And that's what's happening here on the weekly. Now, uh, as I say, it's 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 not a common signal. It it doesn't happen that often. But it, what it's saying here, for instance, there we have the price going down, and here we have it got going up. Ever see that? Ever heard of that? It's, a po it's called a positive divergence. Now, what that the signal normally is, is that it's a, a trend continuation signal. So in other words, uh, uh, the, the price might be looking like it's going down, but the but momentum's actually going up. That's how you read it, and therefore uh, it, it goes up. Uh, um, there, so it is a trend continuation. So that, by account, by the by that signal, means it will continue. Right. I, 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 yeah, it doesn't actually happen that often. I, I don't see it that often. But um, certainly, uh, yes, it, it seems like you have had some experience with that, David. Thank you for that input. Um, if using the balance volume, yes. Um, and I'm just talking about, let's say, a normal momentum indicators like the stochastics and the RSI and all that type of thing. Yeah, this is a, a positive. So, so that's number one interesting formation for uh, today, just to you know, show you something interesting. And then there's another one that's happened on the pound. And I'll go straight to the pound. I won't do the full analysis on the... Yeah, uh, on the Euro yet. I'll go straight to the pound. I just want to show you that one. Um, and, th and that one is called a megaphone. <laughs> so a megaphone is, remember, in the, in the days before they had microphones, they used to have a big cone that they used to speak into, and that's called a megaphone. And uh, and occasionally you would see that on the chart, and there is a megaphone. So it's it's a, it's, so it's something that starts narrow at the end and, and goes out. Now again, strangely enough, this does not happen a lot on on in the market. And here you can see the megaphone formation coming out, and and, and it's a lot clearer there on the four hour chart. You can see the megaphone. So uh, that is a sign of uh, uncertainty and it is in fact a dangerous formation it's, it's basically saying the market doesn't know uh, you know uh, is it doesn't know where it wants to go and in general it's it's a dangerous formation uh, one to be when you see those you rather trade another currency than, than than finding that so anybody heard of the megaphone before and uh, encountered it or or t take a notice of it in any way. All right. So, so those are the two uh, interesting ones that I, I ran into in uh, reviewing the charts. So let's go back to the euro. And uh, as, so that's just a warning to uh, to almost not trade that currency. That's that's basically. Uh, it's, uh, when it narrows down, when it goes the other way, then there's a little bit more um, uh, tradability to it because it's going to break out. It's, it's like a triangle. It will, it will break out. And that happens a lot, but uh, not a megaphone. A megaphone is a little bit more dangerous. All right, so let's have a look at the euro and 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 uh, try and get some information out of this. So the so the first thing is that uh, on the weekly it looks like that uh, that we're getting trend continuation uh, signals on the weekly. 
Um, then let's have a look at the daily and I'll open it up a little bit more. And these are the kind of things that I'm looking for. I'm, um, I'm looking for um, just general analysis, uh, get a feel of what's going on type of techniques. Um, now you can see this, this one has gone overboard, over, uh, bought quite, oh, over, yeah, overboard quite strongly. Very strong overbought there, overbought there, and yet uh, it hasn't shot back. You know, it, it, it just hasn't shot back. It's actually, look, and that seems to give more weight to the idea that this is a trend continuation move because it is ignoring that sharp, highly overbought environment that exists there. I mean, that was 96 or you know, 95 on the RSI, a really big, uh, a big reading for the unusual, the high reading. Uh, it's actually 97. So, um, so here we get a, it's almost a confirmation that um, possibly the trend wants to continue. So we get we're getting the same kind of general feeling, and and uh, you know, with technical analysis, sometimes. You should you should trade what you see and not what you think, um, and uh, that's that's what happened. It's, it's also hasn't quite made a double top. It's it's like try to, but uh, not not really that that great. Uh, but now again, remember the RSI is not that reliable in a in a strong trend. But it, although you are we are seeing a divergences there. Um, uh, it, it's most probably um, le a less reliable over there. So uh, let's have a look. Uh, let's have a look at, at support and resistance, and uh, we see. Okay, there's 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 quite a bit of room there for it to go to uh, major support or resistance. Um, I don't think it'll let me. Oh yeah, it will. Yeah, that. That's that's about the the, the the it's it's already broken through this one. Oh, it's not really broken through. It's actually um, it's it's actually hit it. So um, so it's it's at a, a historic a resistance level, and um, and that could be why it's hesitating at the moment it it can't break through that historic uh resistance level let's see if there's a non vertical reason why that could be happening and the way i'll do that is just like that no there's no i can't see any trend line meaningful trend lines that uh that say that 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 play a role over there. Um, nothing really uh, substantial. Uh, okay, that's not a great trend line anyway. So, um, so, so this is, this is a, a uh, one when you start seeing mixed signals, you're seeing a trend continue, trend, potential trend continuation. Uh, that Look at Look at that trend. It's still every all all of them are pointing up. All the moving averages are pointing up quite strongly. Um, uh, you you don't want to trade against that. So overall, uh, if it's, you know somebody had to uh, give a valuation of the euro, you would say there is a bullish um, bullish m momentum that is presenting itself in the charts. Um, how you trade that bullish momentum is is the next question because uh, I, I'm not the I don't enjoy trading tr trends that easily. But uh, in this case, it could be a simple breakout of uh, the upper resistance there on the daily chart or even on the four hour chart. There's uh, a, a breakout of that of that resistance could be a trade north. So that's how you would trade that. Any any ideas from uh, people in the webinar about the euro? Um, um, I, I'm naturally a retracement trader, but I can't actually see any convincing reasons why uh, re retracement trading will work. 
on the euro. I think it looks more like a breakout trend continuation type of trade. Moving averages, consolidating a bit on the four hour. Um, uh, the, the, the vibration rates seem to be um, boom, 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 boom. It looks like it could go a little bit further. So, um, yeah, I wouldn't, uh, I wouldn't uh, be able to commit to a sell. Certainly not, but I would um, probably uh, commit to a buy. All right. Um, I see there's no questions, no comments. Anything else that some anybody uh, um, notices? Uh, I, I think another thing that I've noticed here is that there's a, a bit of return of support and resistance, um, respect for support and resistance in the market. If you look here, uh, that uh, uh, support uh, resistance line is being respected. That one over there is, is, is a clear support and resistance line and look how it got respected there. And then now we've got a new resistance line up here. And that's quite encouraging. It means that normality is coming back into the market and uh, the market is trading according to those kind of principles. Just something I've just noticed now, uh, there is a, a, a uh, potential channel here which says again that the, uh, the euro could possibly go up to the upper channel line. So we've got a one, two, three bounce and it's, it's battling to get up there but it could get there. All right, so that's the euro. I'm going to maybe do the pound next, and uh, let's have a look at the now. The pound's the one I think with the um, megaphone, but let's see what the pound looks like. And I like looking at starting with the uh, uh, weekly. Uh, the weekly is in a uh, a buy mode there the rsi is going up um, and it has hit a trend line type of resistance area um, and let's have a look what the horizontal resistance is like it looks like it's actually past that it's just oh no that's a that's a good one look there it's resist resistance there support there bounce there but that's that's a fair fair line, uh, support and resistance line. So it is at a, a resistance line. It is also, it's at a, at a horizontal and a non-horizontal support and resistance uh, line. In fact, this could be a, a very fat. It's almost a channel. Um, so uh, uh, when you have an, a non-horizontal and a horizontal um, lines coming together, it's, it's a call, uh, called confluence. And uh, that might be strong enough to hold the pound from going any further. So uh, um, I'm starting to see bounce uh, information on the pound. Here we also are seeing bounce signals coming down. Uh, look how much the RSI has moved, and it's only moved a little. Uh, you know, uh, the current candle is actually very small, so there's a bit of a, a more sell. So I'm I'm starting to see more sell momentum uh, in the pounds movement. Um, let's have a look. Uh, already the uh, the uh, multiple moving averages are already giving sell signals. Uh, let's have a look at the daily. Oops, wrong one. That, that is the weekly. Uh, so let's have a look at the daily. Uh, mm, the daily saying I'm still trending, but it looks like I'm starting to topple over and uh, could start making uh, sell signals here. So um, let's have a look at the hourly. Remember, here's that support and resistance. It needs to break that to really become a meaningful uh, um Signal. Uh, we're starting to see a failed signals. Now that's another signal that 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 is uh, well worth taking note of. It's an unconventional one, but it, but but certainly when a good, uh, in this case, a good buy signal fails, 
white wool that a good buy signal is is it's got most of the uh, characteristics it's got that divergence it's got the trend line violation it's gone over the 50 line it's gone over the trend line uh, that is a good buy signal it was rejected it, it actually succeeded for a while and then was rejected so um, when a good buy a good signal not necessarily a buy one good signal fails then it immediately must uh, warn you that there's something bigger at play in the market and therefore I'm seeing again this could be completely um, uh, wrong but certainly if we take the signals that we that we've seen so far we have we have seen a lot of evidence uh, that there could be downward momentum any comments uh, uh, from anybody regarding the, those observations? Anybody see a buy in here? Uh, come on. <laughs> Won't do it. Okay, there you are. Mm, you see, that's still that's still buy mode. Uh, uh, that's still buy mode, but it is turning back quite a lot. Okay, we um, not getting much uh, commentary from from uh, the uh, webinar attendees. So uh, maybe one more currency, and we'll call it a day. <laughs> okay, Liz, have you been away for a while? Um, okay, so what we'll do is we'll, we'll give, give it one more currency. I, anybody have a favorite currency that they would like me to do last? All right, I'm going to just do a random one, which is called the uh, Euro Oz. Let's, try, let's have a go at the Euro Oz. Okay, that's good. All right, so the Euro Oz has quite been had a, had quite a wild ride in the last while, um, and let's see what it's up to. Okay, uh, all right. So um, uh, we've got what looks like to me like a channel there. Um, okay, so we've got a channel one, two, three, four, and we've got what is what, what is an against the trend um, signal to go south here on a channel trading. I'm looking purely on a channel trading basis. All right, so let's have a look at support and resistance, so, uh, horizontal. So th there's obviously uh, the big one. And then let's see if there's another one. Okay, there. See how important those ones are. We go back. Oh, no, it's, it's uh, we don't need to go back that far. So, okay, so these are uh, recent support and resistance. Um, okay, so... Again, there's, there's a confluence of uh, horizontal support and uh, non-horizontal support indicating that, that uh, this could be a sell. Again, the, the one thing that worries me about it is that it's an against the trend, um, against the trend sell. But certainly that starts standing out and, and that's on the, on the one, uh, one hour. No wonder they look so so similar. So let's have a look at the daily, at the four hour. Okay. Oh, there's now here's an here's another uh, a different channel altogether. One, two, three, four. All right. So this is also saying a a a potential bounce on the now th this this trade is a less 
against the trend because this this channel is more or less a flat one so um, certainly this wouldn't be a, against the trend trade the other th thing that i've just noticed here is we've got extreme readings on the rsi uh, not that extreme only 80, 87 but a fairly high reading on the rsi that will also encourage a sell um, what else is there that we can see the, cu the current candle formations also uh, seem to show uh, we've got a mixture here quite honestly we've got spikes from the bottom and spikes from the top so it's very difficult to tell what's going on there um all right let's have a look at the multiple moving at multiple moving average says there's still some upward momentum but on the daily it's actually saying that the, the trend is still down and this could be just a bounce area this doesn't look no, oh, that's what it is. That's what it says. This could be, but but that that could be read as a buy signal. So uh, we need to be careful about this. The um, the good vibrations uh, uh, indicator is saying uh, that it's it, it it this. If you look at it, uh, it it has a three hundred and thirty three hundred. 360 so it's saying it it's at the vibration rate where it can start coming down so the uh, vibration rates also giving some form of confirmation that sh this one should be getting tired now and be trading down I'll just mark that and uh, what else is there um, now here oh <sighs> daily all right so the last time the rsi was oversold was up here right up there it has never been i mean um overbought rather it has never been overbought until here so um uh what what that means it's it goes oversold very easily but it can't go overbought which means there's a lot of cell cell momentum in here and currently um currently you've got to take note of that and say that uh unless something uh convincing happens here like it goes up it's it's still got some room to go up to that particular there's a lot of channels here isn't there i mean there's the channel on the hourly there's a channel on the day on the daily and there's a channel on the four hour um and uh, the daily one says there's there might be a little bit more room for uh, movement north and and before it starts uh going south again so so there it could be another hmm, almost 100 pips up there and before it comes down um all right any ideas on the on on the uh, uh euro oz Okay, so uh, there's a comment that's come through that the Euro Oz is ranging quite nicely on the 15 minute. So let's go and look at that. Um, I'll just do the 15 minute like that. Oh, okay. So uh, what you're saying is uh, we we take that as the range and um, trade a breakout out of that. So if, if the breakout goes north, we trade it north. So we do a straddle. So we uh, so is is that what you have in mind, Bez? Yeah, that yes, that that could be a, a way of resolving this. Um, Oh, okay. So you you had in mind to only uh, only take the short. Yes, there's a lot of cell cell momentum here, but um, uh, 
but the the the, uh, the the daily is still showing some buy momentum so we can't overrule uh you know the in terms of uh signal uh, uh importance the daily still has the uh, most important um and then the four hours more important and and then and then the the lower time frames are become important so um i think uh, i agree with you but i would also put the, the buy uh, option in there keep the buy option in there okay so uh, uh let you you wanted to have a look at the pound franc all right so let's have a look and that will be the last one for tonight the pound franc and let's have a look. Um, Liz, you say you found a, a, a FXB solution. Um, can you let me know what it is? Oh. Yes, okay, so publishing was the way. So there is an option uh, to publish uh, within a, a date range. I, I seem to remember the publisher is quite a, a good option. Um, okay. All right, so let's have a look. Uh, so what, what, we, uh, what you're seeing is a potential sell, and that is why. And let's just have a look at what could be happening here on a support and resistance basis. Not very clear, but um, potentially there. Um, okay, so, so the only thing that would worry me quite a bit is the level of uh, oversold level of the rsi over here it is extremely oversold <laughs> uh you know that these kind of levels tend to bounce uh, quite a lot um it hasn't hooked yet uh, i must add that but it is extremely oversold um uh, but this is it's it's at a point where um sometimes the price reaches a point where it's explosive in one way or the other. So it can be explosive upwards or downwards. It's at, it's at that point. Uh, if it breaks through this resi resistance trend line that I've drawn here, it will really go a long way. Uh, let's put it that way. Uh, the uh, the um, move, uh, multiple moving average is saying sell. Let's see what the daily says. Oops, wrong one. Uh, daily says it daily is also saying sell so yeah I, I agree with you the um, um, this looks like a potential sell but you'll have to wait until there's a proper breakthrough of that resistance um, and it has been bouncing reasonably well 300 480 three, five and so 500 uh, it's already gone a lot there so uh, um, there's just one thing that I note here that is a little bit um, of a warning. As I say, it's, it's, it's run quite a bit already. Now, this, this is a, a, a channel, but it's only a, it has a fully, not a fully formed one. It's got one, two, three bounces. It's going for the fourth bounce. Should It should uh, the argument here is that it should get here. So there's the target. So that also um, confirms a potential sell, but you've already lost half of the leg uh, going down, but certainly that confirms that the sell is on. Um, that says it's on. Um, that uh, that says it's on. That, that candle formation over there, um, that, that, that's a reversal. That's almost like a spike. Uh, if you if you add uh, if you, uh, you uh, sometimes you need to add the two candles together if you add them together that becomes a spike so um, like there you add those together it becomes a spike 
add those two together, it becomes a spike. So uh, if you add those candles together, you get a spike. So there's another sell. So, so yeah, sell, sell is on. Uh, I would put a pending order 10 pips below that trend line, and that would, that would be a good sell. Okay, right. Uh, okay, so look, we've had a, a good discussion. Thanks very much for the, those questions. Thanks for the uh, FX Blue uh, input. And then also thanks for this um, pound franc, which actually does look like a good sell. It, it's got some work still to do, but um, certainly, uh, you know, it's, 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 it, it's um, if you look, even, even look here on the, it, it's making new lows. It's making, uh, Lower highs and lower lows. If you look at it, at the sequential, lower lower low, lower high, lower low, lower high, lower low. So it is in a downward trend, uh, but I I would wait for confirmation of that trend line. Right. So uh, yes, uh, this is the last session for the week. Have a great uh, Friday and weekend, and we'll chat again on Monday. From me, Alex Aploy, cheerio. Bye.